Alright, let's look at solving systems of equations, uh, two equations, two unknowns, using the addition method. Or you could call it the elimination method. I'm going to call it the addition method in these videos. So what we want to do is we want to take the two equations and we want to add them together. And when we add them together, we want one of the variables to go out. So you can see if we add these two equations, we would have 3x plus 5x equals 8x. 2y plus negative 2y is 0. The y's go out. So let's just go ahead and add these since one of the variables will go out. So we have 8x and then 2y plus minus 2y is 0 equals 12. Then I divide both sides by 8, and I get x equals 3 halves. Now, I need to figure out what y is. So I'm going to take this value for x, and I'm going to plug it back into one of these two equations. It doesn't matter which one you plug it into, so I'm just going to plug it into this first one here. So I have... 3 times x and in the place of x I'm putting 3 halves plus 2y equals 4. So I get 9 halves plus 2y equals 4. Now I need to solve this so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the fraction by multiplying by the common denominator which is 2. So I have 2 times 9 halves plus 2 times 2y equals 2 times 4. So I get 9 plus 4y equals 8 subtract 9 I get 4y equals negative 1 divide both sides by 4 I get y equals negative 1 fourth so here's my solution 3 halves and negative 1 fourth now our solution is a point it's where these two lines here intersect so we're going to write our solution like this xy an x and y coordinate so my solution is 3 halves negative 1 fourth this is the point where the two lines intersect let's take a look at the graph of these two lines here's here's the graph of the two lines and you can see this point where they intersect is 3 halves negative 1 fourth it's this point right here okay Let's take a look at another one. Here, if I add the two equations, I get 2x plus 3x is 5x, minus 3y plus y is minus 2y. Neither variable goes out. But, with since, it's, since these are equations, I can multiply by, no, I can multiply an equation by a number. So, I'm going to multiply this second equation here by 3 because if I do 3 times y that's 3y then I will have minus 3y plus 3y is 0 the y's go out so let's go ahead and write the first equation down 2x minus 3y equals negative 7 and then multiply the second equation by 3 so I get 9x plus 3y equals negative 15 and then I add so I get 11x equals negative 22 so now I have this equation here to solve for x I'm going to divide both sides by 11 so I get x equals negative 2 so now I take the negative 2 
and I need to plug it back in to get y. So I can plug it into this equation, this one, or this one. I could do this one, but this is the same as this, so it really doesn't matter. But you can plug it into any one of these. I'm going to go ahead and just plug it into this first one here. So I get 2x, so 2 times x, and in the place of x, I'm going to put negative 2 minus 3y equals negative 7. So I get negative 4 minus 3y equals negative 7. Add 4 to both sides. I get negative 3y equals negative 3. Divide both sides by negative 3. I get y equals 1. So my solution is negative 2, 1. That's the point where these two lines here intersect. Okay, so let's look at this one. So if I add the equations, the x's won't go out and the y's won't go out. So I can multiply by a number, but I would have to multiply by a fraction to get negative 2 here. I would have to multiply by a fraction to get negative 4, I mean a positive 4 here. So what I can do is I can multiply by 4 and I can multiply this one by 3. See that will give me 12 and negative 12 and when I add them the y's will go out. I could, also, I could have also multiplied by 2 and negative 5. See that would give me 10 and negative 10 and the x's would have went out. Or negative 2 and positive 5. That would have given me a negative 10x here and a positive 10x here. But I'm just going to multiply by the 4 and the 3. Okay. So let's multiply the first equation by 4. So that gives me 20x plus 12y equals 36. And then multiply the second equation by 3. That gives me 6x plus minus 12y equals 42. I add, I get 26x equals 78. Now I divide both sides by 26. I'm solving for x. So I get x equals 3. So now I'm going to take the 3 and I can plug it in to any of these equations here. I'm going to plug it into this one because the numbers are smallest or the smallest in the second equation. So I have 2 times x and in the place of x I'm going to substitute in 3 minus 4y equals 14. So I get 6 minus 4y equals 14. Subtract 6 to both sides. I get negative 4y equals 8. Divide by negative 4. I get y equals negative 2. So my solution is 3 negative 2. That's the point where these two lines here intersect. Uh, this is the first video. Uh, you can watch the second video and I will solve systems of equations, two equations, two unknowns using the addition method. But the coefficients, the numbers in front of the variables are going to be decimals and fractions. So Watch the second video if you need help on decimals and fractions.